Wishes that dog in the window. <laughs> Look at this sweet little girl. Shelby, a two-year-old basset hound mix, came to the Humane Society of Tampa Bay very pregnant. The shelter, of course, couldn't turn her away, so they cared for her until she gave birth to nine puppies. Now the Humane Society is equipped to handle all these babies, so they found a foster home. Yes, this brave guy, wait for him, his name is Richard. He took in the whole litter. He even transformed his office into a puppy nursery. Now they're grown, eight saint. weeks old. He is a saint, and they are ready <laughs> for adoption. Now, unfortunately, Richard wasn't able to make it on nope. the show today, but we have Sherry Silk with the Humane Society of Tampa Bay, along with shelter coordinator Dana Johnson, and a whole lot whole of puppies. Bunch of, and a whole bunch of puppies. <laughs> and a lot of puppy handlers. <laughs> Good morning. Good oh, my morning. goodness. I don't Good even morning. know where we should start. How about with these sweet well, first little babies? Of all, can you believe they're only eight and a half weeks old? I mean, they're really very sturdy, stocky puppies. And I can't say enough about Richard Bieler. He, you know, this is a lot of work, and he's had them for oh, eight yeah. and a half weeks nine. and he was having trouble even giving them back to us I said Richard really? you, we don't want you to adopt any because he already has his own dogs because we want you to foster again fostering really helps save lives so so these these puppies the nine will be available for adoption starting today today at 12 o'clock 12 o'clock what yes. about Shelby does she have a home Shelby is still with Richard drying okay. up and he's gonna keep her for another couple weeks and then we're gonna find her a wonderful home too because she is a mother that is just wonderful has taken great care of these of these babies because she's not even though she's 35 pounds she's very stocky but she's low to the ground like look at the one that you have yeah can we see these little tiny stubby little legs they're like you basset, little they're legs. basset okay. legs but I think we, we think maybe there's some lab mix Extend them yeah. too, maybe. So I don't know what we're going to get when they're full grown, but I mean, the mom is wonderful. Yeah, a lot of dogs. I have never seen Russell Road so calm. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. That's what they do. They calm you down. It's what they do. That's what they do. Calm you down. It's what they do. That there's therapy involved with these dogs. There mm -hmm. sure is. Absolutely. And Richard kind of got the wagon for us, and, mm -hmm. and it, they love it. They actually ride around in it, and it's wonderful. Dana, talk to us about the importance of fostering, because that that's where you work in, in the yes. United States, yes. right? Yes. I'm um, the foster care coordinator, and Fostering is just how we save more lives, is we have so many puppies and kittens that come to us throughout the year who we would otherwise have to turn away if we didn't have our foster homes. Right. So and what, I, are, what are the requirements of being a foster parent? Um, just fill out an application and um, having a little discussion and just having the available time. The biggest commitment to these guys is having that time available to, you know, be able to be there for, you know, lots of puppy cleanup <laughs> right, <exactly. laughs> and play time um, and just having that just willingness to open up your home and the willingness also to say goodbye when these guys are ready right. for adoption. <laughs> that's the top. And it's not, can I just say, it's yeah. not just puppies, it's kittens too. Kittens. We're always yeah, in need for kittens. So, oh, yes. And usually it's anywhere from two weeks to six weeks uh, program until they're eight weeks of age, and then they can go up for adoption. So last oh. year we saved another 1,200 animals because of our foster mm -hmm. parents. So really? Come on, we need more. Come on, you can't, you can't, can't find them. There are puppies, you there are no puppies for everyone. There's oh, one for everybody at the Vanessa, studio, what right? Do you, what do you think <laughs> better than a bucket of puppies? I can't think of anything. I just think it would be this, this impactful. Is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you should see everyone come from the newsroom. Aww. Like people were having like some people met, met us out in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. It really yeah. I'm not so sure you need to take these back. I know. Maybe I not. <laughs> Maybe not. So How about Humane Society on the Facebook page? Are you serious? Today at noon. Today at today at noon they'll be available for adoption. I hope you're ready because I bet there's going to be a long line. I'm ready. We are ready. We are definitely ready. Happy home. Yes. And, and remember, if you if you can be a foster po a parent, please contact Dana because we need we need more Great. help Thank in that area. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for bringing in all the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So Take a look. Look how they chew on each other. They all love each oh, other. Look at that. Back. Oh, wow. <laughs>